there's a, um, a model of how marketing works in general, which is that if you can get people to engage deeply with the brand and to have a strong relationship with that brand, you get strong brand loyalty and that drives profit. And I think that that relationships, brand relationships drives loyalty approach is complete nonsense um, in two ways. Um, firstly, brand loyalty is not what drives profit anyway. Um, a big part of our research and Byron Sharp's research and Ehrenberg's research is showing that actually loyalty in the way that it's conventionally measured is almost irrelevant for the growth and success of brands. Um, secondly, people don't want to have relationships with brands by and large. Um, people want to have relationships with other people. Um, and that's why they go on social media. That's why the, you know, they like Twitter and Facebook and so on. They, because they want to talk to and have relationships with their fran friends. They don't want relationships with brands. Um, they want brands to make their lives easier so that they can spend time with real people. And brands that make the mistake of thinking that they can be friends with their customers are actually just going to piss people off, by and large. Um, apart from the handful of people who are psychotic <laughs> or obsessive, normal people don't want to have relationships with brands. It is, however, important for people to have to like brands and to have a warmth towards brands. That's different from having a relationship. Um, it's not, you know, a brand is not your friend. A brand isn't someone you talk to. A brand isn't some, somebody that you want to have a dialogue with. Um, but it's important that you have a sort of warmth towards the brand. So I would say, thinking about the social, social media, um, I think there is a value actually in, in the liking. Um, as an indicator, because liking, we know that liking is important for conventional advertising. When brands put stuff up online that people like, then there's a warmth and a gratitude, and that's, that's one of the things we know that, that drives sales. 